Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And welcome back to InfoFlow Blazers. Today is Monday, June 6th. I'm Gabe. And I'm Habib. Today's Pride Month fact that the first lesbian rights organization was the Daughter of Belitis, started in 1924 by Henry Gerber in Chicago. It was created as a social alternative to lesbian bars, which were subject to raids and police harassment. Magruder High School in Durwood closed early last week due to its air conditioning system not working because temperatures were expected to soar into the 90s. Students were given lunch before being dismissed at 11.30. John Hinckley, the man who shot President, President Ronald Reagan in 1981, has been granted unconditional release with no restrictions, 41 years after the shooting that almost killed Reagan. In his original trial, Hinckley was found not guilty by a jury by reason of insanity and was confined to a mental hospital in Washington for almost two decades. He has shown no active signs of mental illness since the mid-1980s and has exhibited no interest in violent behavior or weapons. Hinckley has been given, has lived in Virginia full-time since 2016, though still under restrictions. And now, let's go to me for coverage of last week's vigil. Last Wednesday, members of Glare's Latinx Leaders Association held a vigil for the victims of the recent Buffalo and Robb Elementary shooting. We asked the leaders of the vigil to walk us through the event. My name is Stephanie Benitez. I'm a 11th grader. I'm a junior. Um, my name is Yasmin Rivera. Um, I'm a senior. And we actually came up uh, with this idea of organizing an event to honor uh, these victims. And so we went and communicated uh, counseling and Ms. Johnson. The first speaker was Hennessy Valle, and she was giving a speech. It was basically a speech about um, just the innocent lives and how there has to be a change. Then there was um, a song uh, sung by the, the club, um, which was called Que Canten Los Niños, and it was about just how, just honoring, like, the little kid. Good job to the Latinx club on their successful event. In Toad Nations, where a cappella group is hosting their spin auditions this week in room five during lunch. If you love to sing or know how to beatbox, come join them any day this week to audition. They can't wait to see you there. And that is all for today's show. Check out our website at bnconline.net to submit any announcements and follow us at bnc underscore Blair on Instagram and at BNC Blair on TikTok and on Twitter. Have a majestic Monday, and we'll see you next time, Blazers.